Wow, look at him just check out when he wants to. I don't see he's waiting for them. And then he'll just go whip. He's about to do it. Watch. I can sense it. Now he's fast. In case you're wondering though, yes, this is the bike that you can win. This is my 2020 KTM 300 XC TPI. I will be giving this bike away uh, to somebody for Christmas. All it takes is five bucks on dirtbikechannel.com to get you entered into the sweepstakes for this. So if you buy a... Man, Chris just turned it on. If you buy a shirt, it's like five entries. Man, these guys just start wicking it. I don't know what happened. There they are. Anyway, this awesome bike that is running perfectly is gonna be somebody else's very soon. I think the promotional period is gonna run from October 15th until December 15th, 2019. This, uh, this isn't the only bike that's up for grabs. There's the 2019 250 XC. So I'm gonna have two freaking lucky winners. So I'm excited about that. Very excited about that. I want to get too close to Chris here, otherwise I'm going to get mud all over my goggles. Now look at him just check out what he wants to. Damn, he's fast. He's just got that other gear that he goes up into. holds back a little bit while the guys in front pull away a little and then he just clicks into a, another gear and freaking disappears. That's inspiring. He's a happy rider. He's a, he's a play around rider. Got that joyful disposition in the bike. <laughs> yes, I just used the term joyful dis disposition to describe a rider. But he's just having fun. He's finding things to just pop up, pop off of, pop up off of. Flipping the throttle, see he's waiting for them to get a little, get a little gap. And then he'll just go whip. Just click it in and leave me for a second. He's about to do it. Watch. I can sense it. He's just letting them get out. And then he's gonna go snap. Watch. There he goes.
That was it. That was that little burst. He does shoot. That's cool. Now for this next section, it was just, the order got switched up and it was just wicking it on. So um, these guys, it's just so fun to ride with people who are, who are faster than you and better than you. Helps you to kind of push your skills, push your limits and everything. And you can see them in the frame right now. And what's gonna happen is they're just going to slowly, slowly disappear. And all it really takes is if you're one, 2% faster than somebody, you just slowly pull and pull away from them. And that's what was happening right here. And um, I, I may not have been riding at my absolute max here, but I was riding as as fast as I dared in in the conditions. Like every, you know, different days you have different conditions and everything, and sometimes it might be a little bit looser than others, and and sometimes you may be a little bit more confident than others. Obviously, I don't know this trail at all. I've never seen it ever before in my whole life, and so you're seeing everything for the first time, and you're trying to process all of it, and you're trying to make sure that you don't lose traction on kind of the skatey marble pebbles and different things that are going on uh, on the top of the ground here but I'm just I'm trying to catch these guys and they'll just pull further and further away and uh, such a blast this day was such an awesome awesome time you know for trails like exactly what you're seeing right here I'd actually prefer a KTM 250XC the nice thing though about a 300XC on a day like today's ride was we had such wide variety of terrain everything from like you know boulder fields to faster more open flowing stuff like this and so the 300 xc uh from ktm is really hard to beat for that type of stuff but overall the 250 xc in this type of thing is is a really fun light and playful bike and that's what uh trailbound chris was riding uh, on this day was his uh 250 xc i think it's his 2019 um so anyway super super fun bike a lot of you guys out there um, just kind of pass up the 250s XCs just because because you see the 300 and I, and I don't blame you the 300s are amazing I'm giving one away this is the 300 um, but uh, people ask me all the time if I could just have one bike which one would I choose and if you've listened to my podcast you probably know if I just had to choose one bike for the entire year and all of the riding that I do I probably choose the 250 um, just because I love the way the power is delivered on those bikes and I love the way that they make me feel and the light, playful, agile, nimble feeling. Um, whereas these, th these 300s are just a little bit, um, it it's not that they have any less power, but they're just a little bit more reserved when you're getting into the power. I, I just like, I like the, the hot pipe feeling of the 250s uh, where these 300s work really, really well you know, in the down, down low RPMs. So kind of splitting hairs, but that, that's kind of what I think. So it's just fun to blitz out through the, through the uh, stuff here. And now that I'm, I'm doing this voiceover on November 26th, which is like, you know, two and a half months after this ride, it just gets you itching again for summer. I just had a bunch of snow cover the ground here where I'm at. Uh, it's just before Thanksgiving when I'm doing this voiceover. I think the video will come out just after Thanksgiving. I don't know exactly the schedule here. Um, but it makes me really want to get back to the summer um, and do some of this riding again. But we've got a lot of months here where we're going to be out in the desert doing a lot of the more open riding out in the desert, and that's a ton of fun too. So it's nice to have the variety that we have out here in the West and just tons and tons of wide open terrain. It's pretty cool. Fun to be able to see all the bikes in front of me. We're all riding in a tight group because the dirt's so good today. Got Shane leading, then we got Christian, then we got Chris, trail, brown, trail bound Chris right behind me. And I think I got, or I mean in front of me, Trailbound Chris is in front of me. And then I got either Alec or Tyler behind me. So it's a group of six guys and you would, you know, th but these, this is a group of six rippers. Well, five. 
five rippers and then me. So we're not waiting around at all. It's like, this is a good group. I'm, if not the weakest link, right there at the bottom. Which is just kind of how I like it. <laughs> Riding with guys better than me. It's a lot of fun. Push yourself a little bit, you know. Right here, we're just cruising. 